life less than a disciple, it means that though you curse them, they have something you don't have. They have something that you haven't attained to. But see, I will never let that be said about Jesus Christ. Because I believe Jesus Christ is the greatest single prophet that ever lived. Amen. I believe that he is greater than Mohammed. Amen. He is greater than religious organizations. Yes. I believe that Jesus Christ can cleanse you, wash you, yes. make you whole, give you a new life, yes. give you a new direction, yes. give you a new hope, uh, make you happy. Yes. See, if you go around and say, I'm, I'm not happy, I'm not happy. Did you know the followers of Islam are happy? Did you know they're happy enough to take a, a, a 747 and, uh, and go straight into a, 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 a twin tower and believe they're going to paradise as soon as it's done? But if you as a Christian sit around and say, I'm not happy, I'm not happy, uh, nothing makes me happy, I'm miserable, then it means that though you curse them, they have something more than you have. Because, see, uh, you may curse them, but they have something more. So I'd like to ask that preacher, why are you burning a Bible or a Koran? There you go. Really? Are you happier than they are? Are you more of a disciple than they are? Are you more steadfast? Are you more loyal? Do you love God more than they do? Uh, do, you, do you have more faithfulness? They pray three times a day. Three times a day. No matter where they are, they bow to Mecca. Uh, they pray three times a day. Uh, see, so, so never curse something that's outshining you. Just try to become a disciple that will do more than they can do through the power of Christ, through the greatness of God. Because I believe tonight what Jesus said is true. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You believe that tonight, Christian? I'm not talking to Christian tonight. I'm not in a mosque. I'm not in a, I'm not in a mosque. Where, where am I? I'm, I'm, in, a, I'm in the church of my heart. I'm in the church of my heart. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm not in a mosque. Greater is he that is in you. Well, who's in you? Christ is in you. I said Christ is in you. I said Christ is in you. Christ the hope of glory. Christ the hope of glory is in you. Christ the hope of glory is in you. Praise the name of the Lord. See, I'm going to preach this and I'm going to buckle your safety belt. And, and because I believe it's time we got down to business in the church. Listen, you'll have more confidence in me and I'll have more confidence in you if we will get our minds where it needs to be and get settled in Christ and anchor in the Lord and bring the church up to the next level. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. But somebody will be offended. Somebody won't like it. They, listen, they've been offended if you sing sweet Jesus the rest of your life. All you do is stand here and sing sweet Jesus. You're going to offend somebody. So you might as well preach the truth. Might as well give the word of God. Might as well say the word of God. Let's go back into that place. Heavenly place. people need to find stability in the church. Young people need to hear it like it is. You young people will never be saved with a preacher telling you a lie. You'll never be saved if you believe you can go to heaven without repenting of your sins. Without confessing that you're a sinner. You'll never go to heaven without being baptized properly. In the water. In the spirit. 
of the Holy Ghost. You'll never go to heaven living in the lust of the world. I just want to tell you the truth. I just want to talk to you like it is. You'll never go to heaven dressing like the world, stripping off like the world, being naked like the world, causing lust to follow you wherever you sit down, wherever you go, whatever you do, man or woman, causing eyes to follow you. Uh, you'll never go to heaven like that. You'll never go to heaven uh, without every law of God being applied in your life and walking in the truth, living up to the truth, measuring up to it, hearing it, believing it, practicing it. That's the way it is. See, because this is the street of gold and the city of God, Mother Jerusalem, the true church, does not have the street of Babylon. Amen. It has the street of gold. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, a way there shall be. A way. And a highway. And it shall be for those, the wayfaring man. Oh, a fool he shall not err therein. See, because there's a highway. There's a way. Then there's a highway. You've got to find a way to get to the highway. You can't get to the highway unless you find the way. And Jesus said, but I am the way, the truth, and the life. And if you don't find Jesus, I thought Brother Rativi preached one of the greater messages I've heard him preach in uh, Las Vegas. Um, and uh, the other night, uh, the Lord used me some first, and then I let him go. Uh, and uh, God used Brother Rativi. And, uh, but he, 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 his, the essence of his message was very simple. You cannot live in this life successfully unless you give your life to the Lord. You cannot live in this life unless you let Jesus become Lord of all. You must stop having part of him, a little bit of him, some of him, and dart in and get a little piece of Jesus like a candy bowl every now and then. You dart in the office. Uh, I've got a little candy bowl in my office. Uh, there. And um, I don't eat too much of it because I just, uh, I really don't uh, I want to overdo. But I, everybody comes in, oh, they get a little piece of candy. It's all right. But, 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 but you know, that, that, that won't do them very much. But just that little piece. Uh, well, getting a little piece of Christ. Amen. Just coming every now and then to the church. Just coming every now and then just enough to whet your appetite. Just enough to say, I, I've got a little taste. It will not save you. It will not help you. In the end, you're going to be mixed up. You're going to be confused. You'll have no standards. You'll have no principles. Uh, in the end, you won't be able to know uh, your right hand from your left hand because a disciple is what follows Christ. Not a part-time, not a dart in, dart out, not a would-be, not a could-be, but a disciple. And Brother Rattivy preached that message. I thought, my goodness, at the end of it, people were at the altar seeking God oh, yes. and giving their life over, yes. over to Christ that we must have Jesus. How many feel like we must have Jesus? Amen. Do you feel like we must have Jesus? Yes. Do you really feel like we must have Amen. Jesus? Oh, Jesus, come in. Oh, Jesus, fill me. Oh, Jesus, help me. You're the potter. I'm the clay. Yes, I need yes. you, Lord. Yes, Lord. I need you tonight. Amen. I need you in the morning. I need you tomorrow. Yes. I need Jesus every day yes. of my life. I need to be filled with him. I need yes. to have him in my heart, my spirit. Amen. I need him. Yes. I've never lived in a day like this. I've never seen such a hell as we're living in right now. If you've fallen in love with this world, you fell in love with hell. You're in love with hell. Uh, that's what you're in love with. Uh, you, you, this is hell, brother. You're talking about everything we're looking at right now. No answers anywhere. No answers in Washington. No answers for the housing market. No answers for the unemployment. No answers for the stimulus plans. No answers in the politics. No answers in religion. Brother, if you fell in love with this world right now, so much at all, but I, I, I've got sports and that's my... My, I'm having a time with that. That, that. that God will destroy you in the end. Amen. That God will destroy you in the end. 
uh, because God is not bringing the haters to heaven and he's not bringing the Seminoles and he's not bringing the rest of the crowd. Amen. Amen. Let me go over that again. I said, he's not bread for my, oh, I'm going to heaven with the gators. No, you're going to hell with the gators if you leave heaven out. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. See, uh, uh, sport will destroy this nation uh, it will, because they're not learning about God. Our boys and girls are learning about sport. They're learning about techniques of the backfield, the outfield, the infield. But they're not learning the Word of God. They're not learning the Word of God. They're not learning obedience to Christ. They're not learning how to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Men and women are not learning about the Bible. They're learning about corporate structure. What happens in corporate structure? What happens in um, the world? And what happens... Uh, they're learning how to cheat a little better, to make a little better. That's why you men are having such a time right now out in the world with contracts and builders and developers because uh, it's dog eat dog and may the best man win. Uh, you can be loyal to a builder and help him build successfully for years. And now he's looking around for the big, uh, the fast buck, the biggest buck uh, that he can make. Where has honesty gone? Where has principle gone? Where has loyalty gone? Where has our righteousness gone? I say right now, we better get Jesus back in our lives and, and go with him. And be the, let him be there in the morning. Let him be there in the morning. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. I'm not preaching you some junk tonight. I'm talking to you about let's get Jesus. Let's get Jesus. Let's praise him in the morning. Let's praise him in the noon. Let's praise him at night. Praise the name of the Lord. Give him the glory and the honor. That long say my time gets away. It's not all you can do. You want to sit down. And then uh, time gets away. Uh, but, but look, but, but, but these, these scriptures, uh, see, a way and then a highway. And, and so let's go in Christ and no more out. Let's don't just dart in and get a little peace and dart out. Let's build a church here in Bradenton that Babylon will wonder about. Yes. Let's don't let Babylon come here and then uh, even in our own midst uh, tell us uh, what they see that we're fault in. We're at fault in. We're short of. When, when their measure is higher than our measure and we're trying to show them that we've got a street and we're on a different street than they're on. They're on the street of Babylon and we're on the street of gold. Well, let's show them that we have a street of gold right here. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That they need to come over from that street and find the street of gold. Oh, the Messiah. Blessed be the name Amen. of the Lord in the Messiah. How many, how many are getting what Brother Lord is saying right now? Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Because you go in Christ and no more out. You're made to sit together in a heavenly place in Christ. So, so um, this... Um, uh, this uh, picture, uh, man, let me uh, skip over some things here. Uh, uh, there, there's, there's, a, there's a word, uh, there's a word called authority, then there's a word called obedience, and there's a word called disobedience. And until the woman, now no, I'm connected back now, to the woman, I want to finish that thought, yeah. on the woman uh, that took the three majors of, uh, <coughs> that took leaven and hid in three measures of meal. One, one measure of meal that the woman, that was the early church, and they hid leaven in it until the early church went out of existence. I used Revelation 11 and Revelation 12. All right, then the second measure uh, of, of uh, meal was the church, the remnant church that continued through the dark ages, the two witnesses, had lay dormant, lay dead, um, and they were not the pale horse. The pale horse was Roman Catholicism. Yes. See, never, never confuse the true church after the white horse, the, 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 and then the red horse martyred them. But never confuse the black horse and the pale horse in Revelation 6 as being the true church. Yes. That was not the true church. Yes. That was Roman Catholicism. Yes. The true church was the two witnesses lying dead in the street of that city yes. for 1260 years. Time, time, uniting of time. 
40 and two months. Now that was the true church. 